Hey guys, my name's Cameron. I'm a hairstylist here in Los Angeles, and today we are gonna be using the new Labreeze Air Styler on Maddie to get this fabulous, amazing blowout. So I'm gonna show you the five easy steps for anybody to achieve the perfect blowout using Labreeze at home. Dry, curl, set, spray, and shake. We're gonna start with our blow dry attachment, and we are gonna get your hair 85% dry. By doing this, you're helping to save the integrity of your hair, diminish furs, and add a little volume to start. Now that we have our hair 85% dry, we're gonna go on to our step two, which is our curling. Make sure you part out your hair. It's gonna make it easier for you to do it at home so you know what section you're gonna be working on as well as which rotation the curl is gonna go in. But we're gonna go ahead and detach our blow dry attachment and we're gonna put on the new air styler attachment. And with this section, we are gonna roll backwards. So it's gonna go away from the face and create that volume that's gonna give you that fabulous blowout look. Hold the hair in the middle of your section and allow the Kwanda effect to roll the hair up to the root, leaving for about 10 to 15 seconds for the curl to form and hit it with a cold chop. And turn the device off and what you're going to do is just slowly pull the curl off of the air styler and let it just sit there and continue to cool down while you do the rest of the hair. You're going to repeat the same process, making sure that the curls are going away from the face. back section we're still going to repeat the process as far as doing three sections but with this we're going to go backwards forward and then backward again by switching the rotation you're preventing your curls from sticking together in one big curl and you're also allowing for texture to be added to your blowout one thing i'm absolutely loving about this new air styler tool from the breeze is the top all you have to do is simply switch it back and forth to change the airflow depending on which way you want your curl to go do you see how it catches so quickly and move it all the way up until you get to the root. We're gonna do the crown and the front portion going all back. One of the best parts about using this product for stylists is that it's so quick and easy, but also for people at home, there's no rhyme or reason to be perfect about it. It's going to add volume, curl, and hold no matter how you split your section so you don't have to be as precise. Lift the hair up so it's going at a 90 degree angle. And make sure that you're placing your curl on the top of your head and you're just going to pull it out of the barrel like this and kind of let it sit there by doing this you're going to create lift and volume at the root of your hair which is going to allow your bouncy blowout to last all day just have your client just tilt their head back a little bit and you're going to start to shake out the curls don't run a brush through it just shake them out with your hands start at the root just so you can release the curl the curls are completely intact there's no frizziness go ahead and just take a brush and you're gonna start at the bottom and just kind of lightly comb through the curls. The hair is shiny, it feels healthy, and because of the way that the air styler is created and the Kawanda effect, it is gonna last you all day. So this is our final look. It's beautiful, it's bouncy, it's gorgeous. Maddie, how do you feel? Amazing. Make sure that when you start using your Kawanda air styler, you check out this tutorial, and don't forget about your five steps to the perfect, fabulous blowout.